Ik weer met een um, volbank. Yes. <laughs> Misschien kan ik opschrijven. Dan kan Daryl een beetje hier naar mij toe kunnen te schrijven. Daryl kan zeggen, nou, dan kan ik fit into the picture here. Ja, ja, daar zijn. Dan kan ons allemaal kan ons, uh, inschrijven. Um, ik zal daar nu naar die camera een beetje draaien. Maar ik denk op jullie stadium lijkt het heel helemaal goed. <laughs> Um, meneer, ik wil voor jullie sê baie, baie dankie dat jullie, dat jullie bij ons keier vandag. Uh, dat is volgens wonderlijk. Nou PBX uh, en dan ook telepaaspoort. Ja. Ik weet nog niet wat er in is, wat er is die hoender of die eier. Wie het eerst, wie het eerst kom, ek dink amper telepaaspoort was eerste geweest. Yes. So we have Daryl en Anwar ja. yes. on the show this ja. morning. Nice to have you gentlemen here. Nice to be here. Jy my jy jy like nekies vir my jong man. Yeah. Skoene, skoen, alles. Jy my ryk heerlik nekie skoen geskeer nie soos ons ou man en nie. Um, Daryl, ko, ko, ko ons kop het gegoe af, ons praat van telepaaspoort, maar van waar gehaasie. Wie, wie en wat is telepaaspoort? Uh, telepaaspoort is basis um, een telefoonstelsel uh, verschaffer. Mm -hmm. um, so, what we actually do is we provide least cost routing. Uh, we look how we can save companies in terms of their uh, telephony expenses from month to month. Right. And we have various products and NoPBX is one of those products. Uh, mm -hmm. NoPBX is basically your uh, business telephone system and um, what it does is it, it um, offers a business telephone system over a cellular network mm -hmm. as opposed to your traditional um, local line in the office. I get it. Workplace. So we okay. normally have hardware in the office um, which costs a lot. There's no hardware involved here. Right. It's hosted in a cloud like a, over the <laughs> internet. So, so uh, uh, let, me, let me take this back in time a little bit. You know those, and, and nothing against the ladies, it's just the videos that we saw of age and back in the 1935s and what, what the ladies were pulling out cables and that kind of stuff. We then progressed. I remember when I was a kid, the telephone basically went from that dial to the button phone. That was new evolutionary stuff. Okay, so uh, um, what, what are you saying here, Daryl, that in terms of modern businesses, are we slowly but surely moving away from this server room hardware kind of setup when it comes to telecommunications? Most definitely, we'd like to reduce that footprint of hardware that right. takes up space, but also the costs that are associated with that space that it takes up. Okay. Kijk, okay. okay. maar met vroeger, ja, met, met, met um, telefoon of met de centrale, voor bezigheid het dit daar oor gegaan, dat die daar is drie of vier lijnen wat inkomende lijnen yes. en dan uh, is dat natuurlijk uh, lijnen wat, wat gebruikt wordt om oproepen te maken wat uitgaan. Ja. Maar die belangrijkste groot maatschappij kost vat banken, vat bijvoorbeeld maar net banken als een voorbeeld of groot administratieve instanties, was die, was die bijlijnen naar die verschillende mensen zijn kantoren toe. Ja. Yes. Maar nu praat je van een cellfoon, want ik wil weten hoe krijg jij dit nou recht? Hier komt nou iemand bel me, dit gaan door een cellfoon. Dat is geen data nie, die, die inlichting wordt gestuurd op die cloud. Nou, hoe krijg je die phone-line kom in en hy moet naar Kavi toe gaan? Hoe krijg je dit gereguleerd dat die, die phone-line in Kavi zijn kantoor? Verduidelijk dit voor mij. Oké, okay. so, yeah. no PBX allows the users to add multiple ring groups. Okay. And you can decide how the telephone system needs to work. For example, you can set up a ring group, let's say for your support team, a ring okay. group for your sales team. Right. And within that teams, you can decide how the telephone needs to ring. Does your telephone needs to ring first, and then Kalfi's telephone needs to ring I second? I see, so it prioritizes. 100% correct, yes. Or you can have a sequential one, where it rings in a particular order, or all at once then. Fascinating. But the, but the telephone that rings is still the, the traditional telephone? No, it is works on the cell phone. On the so cell phone, no is that so? On mobile devices. That so might be my an Android goodness, or an right? iPhone device. And what, uh, do I get this right? This is my phone. This is my personal is phone, mine. and you guys, and let's say zombie. we are working now for InfoStream. We've got a hundred people working at InfoStream. Everybody has their respective phones, yes. no? and then no, PB, no PBX basically goes and does that all on my phone. Hundred percent, yes. So you don't have to Yo. be stationary in, in the office in order for you to receive a business telephone call. If you are on the move, you're out of office, you're yes. traveling across uh, Namibia, you can still make and receive business telephone calls right from your cell phone. Incredible. Yeah, I'm stomach slam. I'm sitting, I'm really stomach slam, but I'm trying to figure out how how works it. I can tell the dame, Daryl, where the the finance kantoor or the admin kantoor. Met de lineaal gezet en met de potlood, dan krijg je zo'n print out yes. van de telefoon oproepen. Yes. Dan zeggen ze: Oké, okay, Kavi, jij hebt zoveel gemaakt, dus zoveel rand. 
Je ja. trekt voor je salaris af. Ik heb het zo weer gemaakt. Nou, nou hoe, werk, hoe werkt dit nou in termen van oproepen en kosten voor maatschappijen? Oké, okay, so wat NoPBX does is it gives a OE2 number to the organization, to the yeah. company. Right. Yeah? And that is a shared number amongst all the extensions when you call outside your uh, workplace, then that one number is displayed. So for example, InfoStream calling out, everybody will see this is the OA2 number, this number is InfoStream's number. So when they call back, they all come back to the switchboard. Yes. The switchboard can then give them options, press one for sales, two for oh, accounts, okay. and three. I get it. But the added okay. benefit is that every extension can have its separate credit limit and its own call records also on a web portal that NoPBX offers the user. But, but, oh, I'm really stunned. One so there's one number, dedicated number, but that number then automatically through your system, NoPBX, then split into different activities. I mean, you transfer it to different users, yes. but if there are designated teams, like for example, sales team, they need to be reachable. If Anwa needs to be reached uh, directly by a user, yes. he can then have a direct number for incoming calls as well. You know, it actually makes sense because uh, we've seen during the COVID time in particular, well, the first and the second year, that so many people worked from home. Yes. So, so obviously, a lot of people still phone the company's telephone number. Yes. yes. But you're sitting at home and there's no extension to your house. But through this, no PBX, and through telepassport uh, tele system, yes. it is possible to read you at home as a uh, salesperson. 100%, no, yes. Or wherever you are. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Yeah. The, the, so you ba sorry, th th this is fascinating. Mm -hmm. So you basically in the business without having to be in the business. Correct. 100% correct. So <laughs> no PBX has taken the physical desk phone and yes. transformed it into an app. And that app lives alongside your private number yes. on the same phone. So what happened to the old lady that used to put in, uh, did get retrenched, fired? She got upgraded to, a, yeah, to an I app. Get it. It's oh, called it's No PBX. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. Yes, <laughs> She's doing crochet work. Oh, man. Say it's in Lolo's So what does uh, a PBX stand for? I'm, I was just wondering. I get it, no PBX, that, you know, I get the no and all that, but what does PBX stand for? Uh, PBX basically stands for it's a private exchange. Uh, branch exchange. A branch exchange. Uh, ah, I get it. Okay. Right, which is basically what we spoke about yeah, now. Yeah, in your organization, you can switch calls amongst users. Okay, so we've got these 100 people at InfoStream working. We've got massive sales teams and, and all that. How long does it take to install this? Okay, a user can set up their online account with no PBX within five minutes or under five minutes, depending on how quick you are. Uh, so you can set up from one user all the way to 100 users, different branches across the mobile. Well, is it an app or do I go online or yes. what do I do? You go to our online portal. So everything works through our online portal where you'll be able to register for an online account. Right. Once you register for your online account, you'll be able to select your own uh, 082 number. So right. 082 number, that will be your business number. And then once you've added your business number, you can load all of your users. So in other words, does, the, the, my, does my business number then have to change? In order to my, 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 my traditional business my, number, your traditional business number, and no PBX can live alongside your existing traditional business telephone number. Okay, okay. Alternatively, in order for the no PBX to work quite effectively, yeah. you would recommend an 082 number. Sure. The only reason for that might be mm -hmm. your traditional business number. Let's say you have a 061 number, right? Right. Okay. And in that case, you would only be able to receive and make business phone calls whilst you're in the office. Yes. However, okay. what if you are traveling? What if you go see a client? What if you on the right. way to a supplier? What no PBX allows you is simply to still receive that business yeah, telephone yeah. call on the road wherever you are yeah. across the mobile. If I phone uh, this particular number, the 08 number from South Africa, I still need to use the Namibian 4 code, plus 264, 82. So it's the same thing. Um, what I'm still fascinated about is that you actually don't need specific data. Correct. How is that hosted? Okay, so the no PBX system, um, like any other app on yeah. your phone, it does require a little bit of data. Yeah. However, it is not the data is not to transfer a call. Okay. Um, the call routes out over a traditional cell phone towers. Mm -hmm. um, the data is minimal, uh, between two and five megabits of data for the entire okay. phone. Okay. And that yeah, is that, only that to is connect really you to uh, the server, yes. uh, which then makes sure that you, if you have sufficient airtime on your uh, account with no PBX, and it also identifies the customer line identity, making sure that uh, you know the customer would be able to see your uh, no PBX telephone number. Here. Yeah. However, like I said, the data is very minimal. Yeah. So, so there is there is a small small problem 
if you are um, or you find yourself in an area and there's no cellular network? If there's no cellular network at all, unfortunately, you won't be able yeah. to. Yeah, but I mean, that's, you would need, but yeah. I mean, that what are so the little. chances? We've got so such a absolutely. stable cellular network. If you in, have in one bar of signal, even yes. in the bush camp, uh, wherever you are, yeah. you right. will still be able to make and receive that uh, telephone call. Then. That's fantastic. And, and I've heard of a, 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 a concept called white labeling, okay. but I don't know what it is. What is white labeling? White labeling is basically when you change um, the branding of something to make it your own. Ah, yeah. okay. Can, can, can this be done on no Yes, 100%. Yes. Yes. So, so, yeah. Sorry. If a customer does have their own company logo, yes. and within the No PBX app, you will be presented with the No PBX uh, app logo. Right. However, let's say maybe uh, InfoStream would like to see their own logo within the No PBX app. Okay. They would be able to do that. No, that's fantastic. Right, so, so you should give it an ident. It, yeah. it's, it's, it's a bit mind-boggling because, I mean, this is such a specialist thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying to wrap my head around it. So what hardware would I need? The only hardware would be required would be your mobile devices. Mm. However, if you want to have a traditional uh, on-site uh, telephone system, yeah. you can have a full-on uh, switchboard from no PBX. Yeah. Uh, just a, a, a very quick question. Do you guys actually go out, assess the current situation of a company, and then advise them as to the changeover? Yes. Uh, what NoPBX strives to do is also to save the user on expenditure in the month on mm -hmm. the telephony. Yeah. So we would really like to first get meet the company, see mm -hmm. what the infrastructure looks like and how we can best answer to their uh, telephony needs and at the same time um, save money for them. What about voice messages um, and or how do I get my messages through your system? Okay, so you can set up operational hours that we operate between 8 and 5, yeah. for example, yes. Monday to Friday. And outside those hours, um, if a caller um, does call, they are met with a voice prompt. Yes. Uh, communicate those hours, but also takes the message. You have opportunity to record your message, and it's delivered by email. Yes. To, the, cool. Cool. to okay. either the extension user or to the administrator, depending on who has been set That's up. That's fantastic. Yeah. So you get them out. So, so if you have a business out there and you need uh, your answers in terms of no PBX, go and speak to Telepassports, Daryl and Anwar. Um, so if, if we were to do this now at InfoStream, what is the contract period that we would need? Obviously, we need to sign some form of agreement or something with you guys. There is no contract agreement with no PBX. We try to make things as easy and flexible for the user. Our services work so yes. well that we do not... And uh, that we do not require you to be locked into a long-term contract. Mm, That's mm, not right. Right. Because the use of, of your phone and the calls actually speak for themselves. Yes. That is a, a contract already. And, and what are the rates? I mean, you guys would need to be paid somehow. Yeah. Uh, what, yeah? So uh, we would like to welcome everybody to visit nopbx.na to have a look at our rates. Uh, we basically have two packages. One is an all-inclusive package, meaning okay. that you can make unlimited national calls. Ah, so there are uh, options available. Yeah, okay, so, cool. Uh, local landline and uh, cellular calls um, at a fixed price per month. And then the option two is basically a, a monthly rental of your numbers. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, you top up your account um, on a month-to-month -month basis. Both packages are month-to-month. -month. Yes. So if you... Um, Top up this month, you'll make use of it, and if you by the end of the month you can't top up again, whenever that uh, opportunity comes for you to top up again, you'll be able to call um, from that number. That's great. That's really great. Um, absolutely fantastic. Coffee, Yeah, we got uh, um, quite a couple of messages coming through. You obviously hit the, 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 the nail on the head here. There are yeah, a couple yeah. of comments coming through. Yeah, yeah. Two smart owners with these. This is almost two old ones. The Zalkotze is the clever cookie. They say, Nomar Azubli. Remember that, Nomar Azubli. Um, then also Victor de Kock says, how's it, Dirk, coffee, Underberg time, yes, we'll do that a little bit later. I'll give Very you. sound, says, full house vandag, amal pas in, twee dikkes en twee dinnerigges ook, so, <laughs> yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll get you back for that. Yeah, yeah, However, so. here's a comment from Mark Barnard saying, with modern fiber, your cell phone can become your office phone at a fraction of the cost. Yeah. Is, is, is that basically what NoPBX does, eh? Well, NoPBX break. actually uses in the back end the same type of technology. Ah, okay. It delivers it over a cellular network. Ah, okay. And so you're going to break the fiber. 
uh, not for the user. That's why you don't need data on yeah, your phone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you be, you you'll receive it like where your SIM card would normally receive a, a GSM call or yeah, yeah, call yeah, a yeah. cellular yeah. call. Yes. And that ensures a very good quality call all the time. Ah. So that's why it's called <laughs> no PBX GSM voice calls. Hundred percent. No, no, they good. <laughs> For those viewers um, out there, um, where, to which website can they go to get more details? Do you have a specific website or Facebook page? Or Yes, hmm? um, you can visit nopbx.na right. and that will direct you to Telepassport's website. Okay. But you'll land on the NoPBX page which gives you a bit of a background and all your questions and answers uh, are also available there. And then also you may make contact with us um, directly at 082 400 4000. Now tell the top is Karam. All the info. 400 4000 of www.nobbx.na. Net as you have it. I have a friend on my phone to ask. And I'm lucky to get this by a user friendly app there of Bloodside. For why things you can do it. Dan gaan kijk. Eén die belangrijkste is, jij kan kosten besparen via maatschappij. Ja, en geweldige bijkomst. Reachable in terms of your business. Flex meer bij me flexible. Dus Ansi Burger kan bijvoorbeeld naar strand te gaan en daar gaan cookies bak. En ik weet niet of dit daar werkt. Ik weet niet of Ansi Burger cookies bak. Ze doen, ze maken kosten dat het vrek. Nee, ze zijn ze. You need no PBX to run your cookie business. Nee, ze is, ze is, ze is een chef. Ze maken kosten. En zij post altijd dat heerlijke koos. Maar toen was ons even die dame alles bij. Met die vies ego rally, dat gaan ons, uh, gaan ons bij elkaar en de vrije koos is het. Is there anything hm. else that we perhaps missed? Because we are the amateurs here. You guys are the professionals. Anwar? Um, I would say if users are interested, they should really visit our website. This okay. is for any scale of business. Whether you are one man show, a uh, uh, small, medium enterprise, or an yes. enterprise company, uh, no PBX really saves you cost by eliminating all of your traditional hardware that you might have. Okay, used. okay. Um, just based on the user's comment, mm -hmm. uh, there's no need for you to have an active internet connection in order for no PBX to work efficiently. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah. Yes. So if the user doesn't have internet, no PBX can still work as per normal. Mm -hmm. It routes out to existing cellular towers, which means the user can still experience exceptional call yes. quality. Okay. And then oh, obviously you guys offer support in terms of all of this? Yeah, 100% yes. Mm -hmm. We can, uh, if the user does require any support, they can make contact with us on our support line. Right. Or they make contact with us directly or through the uh, telepassport uh, info.na. Um, or they can ask us to come out on site and assist them yeah. with whatever needs yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, might require. Yeah. Yeah. Nou, als je niet die hele story gevolgd hebt, ga naar die webwerf toe. Of anders is het omdat je die programma gaan YouTube toe. Ja, ja. Als het hier klaar is, jullie ons moet het als, alsjeblieft gaan share op jullie groepen. Okay. En uh, jullie zijn altijd bij welkom, uh, contact ons. Um, als jullie weer welkom gezels of niets of inlichting het, um, ons uh, deerstaan op. Dus ik kom info streamen in die leven groep is. Hmm. is een platform waar jij kan komen gezels over jouw uh, initiatieven. Stokperk is wat bezigheid geworden het, um, inlichting. Rondom activiteiten die er recht dieren in Namibië en natuurlijk ook op voetkundige boodschappen. Baie belangrijk. En ik hoop dat is altijd een beetje entertaining. Yes. So, well, Daryl Anwar, yeah, thank you very much for joining us on InfoStream this morning. Yeah, thank you for your support. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, you go and get yourself uh, educated in terms of no PBX. It might just be the answer for your business. Gepraat van PBX Oblivion vandaag zijn dag. Sevier, dit is Oblivion Day. Is it? Yeah. You can basically 